Meantime, we switch gears and talk female Viagra. This is what researchers and critics are calling the little pink pill that will increase women's desire for sex. The pill is actually called flibanserin. Uh, and today the FDA is debating should they approve it. Today's hearing is the third time the drug has been up for debate. So what's the hold up? Here's the deal. Opponents argue that the drug is creating a medical problem where none exists. They also say this is just another pharmaceutical company trying to make a million. Joining me more to discuss, I have Dr. Judy Karianski, a clinical psychologist and certified sex therapist, and I also have Dr. Elizabeth Cavalier, a urologist from Lenox Hill Hospital. So ladies, yes. welcome. We're going there. We're going there. Uh, I, I first want to begin with a woman who is part of this whole clinical trial. She testified today as part of all of this mm -hmm. um, on Capitol Hill, and she said it was a drug that saved her marriage. Mm -hmm. Roll it. A silent wall of shame grew between us. Shame of guilt on my part for not wanting to have sex with the man whom I loved, and hurt on his part wondering what he was doing wrong. Often pretending to be asleep before he came to bed, we suffered separately in silence, seriously threatening our relationship. I was fortunate to be enrolled in the clinical trial for phlebanserin, and what a relationship-saving eight months that was. As if the light switch had been turned on, so was I. Once again sexually confident, I returned to the flirty and initiating woman Ben fell in love with. The light switch had been turned on and so was I. Dr. Judy, to you first, what's wrong with that? Oh, there, well, nothing, you know, I've been a sex therapist for many years. I was a protege of Masters and Johnson, the grandfather and grandmother of sex therapy. And I've heard these stories for now, how many years? 40 years or so. Of issues. Women are suffering from not being turned on. Because women's sexuality is very complicated. It's not a matter of just taking that pill, by the way, and then all of a sudden the lights go on, you have to feel good about your body, you have to feel good about yourself. We're you complicated. The guy really loves you. Yes, right. it's complex. It's not the same as a man taking a pill, blood rushes in, wow. On that, um, that's what I wanted to turn to you because I think it's My a department. very, <laughs> and cue you, because that's where it's a very important distinction. One, um, this this little pink pill, as it's being called, you know, uh, is more of an antidepressant, right? Increases dopamine, decreases serotonin, whereas Viagra, it's like bada bing, bada boom, it's physical, right? So the most important thing to recognize are two issues related to this. Number one is that this is not going to correct relationship problems. That's right. right? It's not right. going to make you have a good Neither will be at Viagra, by the yes. way. Right. Right. Exactly. The second is that it is opening up the discussion about female sexuality and women's sexuality. So Bruce Jenner coming out is opening up the whole, the whole thing about transgender. And now we can talk about women's sexual function. These are, these are vehicles or, or ways in which we can start to communicate about issues relating but to women's But do you think sex. this little pink pill is a good thing? I think it's a good thing in certain very specific situations. We don't really understand female sexual dysfunction, whatever that term means. It is actually in the psychiatric literature. It is not part of the medical literature at this point. So will a pink pill help women's sex lives and make them more sexual? I doubt it. It's not ecstasy. It's not going to make you want to have sex with everybody around. But it is maybe a step in the right direction to trying to understand the complexities of women's sexuality. Think, you know, as a sex therapist who's dealt with women and sitting there with the woman alone or with the couple, it's the beginning beginning, I think, where the real essence is, does a woman feel good about herself? You have low sex desire. The question that's being asked is, rate yourself on one to five. How much do you feel that you have sexual desire? How much do you feel turned on? Then what does the woman say? Then you get an idea in your mind how much she feels she's suffering. If she's suffering, you have to pay attention. And then you got to get the, the partner into the discussion because does he know how to please her? Does he listen to her? Does she know even what to please her? This is the number one thing we always said about mm -hmm. women. Do mm -hmm. you know how to turn yourself on? Not a pill, not the guy, but you. Right. Point taken. Um, here's the other thing, though. People, you know, some women are saying, listen, there's gender bias. If, if men, and granted, we've discussed the pills are different, but if men have this pill, why can't the ladies have the pill as well? I want you all to watch this. So, it's just you and your lady. The setting, it's magical. But then, erectile dysfunction comes knocking again. But lucky for you, you have countless medication options that will make you just as randy as a teenager. Too bad your lady doesn't have any. Even though more women than men suffer from sexual dysfunction, there isn't one available medication on the market. 
And that was drug makers sprout pharmaceuticals rolling out, so sort of supporting this gender bias argument. I guess ultimately my question being, um, if this is something that a woman is taking, let's say some 30, 40 something runs out to take it, uh, down the road when maybe a libido would change, would this be something that you would need to continue to take? So it, it is. It, you're supposed to take it on a daily basis. Daily. So wow. it's a daily pill. It's for premenopausal women. This is not for women who we commonly consider having sexual issues who are mostly postmenopausal. This is for premenopausal women, um, and it does. I, uh, from that ad, Viagra does not make men randy. Viagra gives men erections. It's a, it's a mechanical thing. It doesn't make them interested. It doesn't increase their libido. There Maybe men could well, use for you know, But you know what? You know this too as a sex therapist. If a guy has an erection, he feels, to, oh, I'm powerful, I'm turned on. It's a That's cycle. That's a mental thing too. Yes, and then it goes to his head, literally and figuratively, from there to there. And for women, it's far more complicated. Well, as a I urologist, it's the, the I can tell you with Vi how Viagra works with Viagra, yeah. without interest, without stimulation, Viagra does not work. Okay. So a man can't take Viagra and watch a football game and expect to get an erection. There has to be some element of libido there in order for him to have a good result with Viagra. Which is why feeling good about yourself and couple counseling so that you communicate about what pleases you, what turns you on, what you want in bed is really, really critical. And on that, doctors, thank you so much. It's an important conversation, and I really appreciate you having it with me on CNN. Coming up next year, we're going to take you 